fix this. Okay. Hi, I'm President George Bush. I don't have much longer in office, but I wanted to tell you about a good friend of mine who I've met with and we've discussed some strategy to help you overcome the big lies the world is trying to tell you. Being a politician, I know about big lies. Let me introduce you to my friend, Jay Albritton. Hey, it's good to see you, and I'm excited about this weekend. We're going to be talking about uh, big lies, the things that society tries to tell you about that simply are not true. So I'm looking forward to this Saturday morning, 11.45 to 12.30-ish, and uh, we'll hang out and talk about that, and hopefully we'll see a big change this weekend and what God's going to do in your heart and in your life. Good morning, guys. This is Craig Clayton. I am the local mission strategist at First Baptist, and I am excited about being with y'all on Saturday morning. Uh, we believe God's going to do some great things in our sessions. We talk about missions, local missions, world missions, just a whole ball of wax. Uh, I want to use some of the things that God taught me on the mission field in Mexico and just see how we can reach more people here in Hampton Roads. So I hope you can be with me. Uh, a couple of things that are going to be very important parts of our session is go are going to be the Bible, God's Word. What does it have to say for us uh, as we look towards having missions experiences and missions journeys uh, around the world and in Hampton Roads? And then also candy. Got to have candy. Got to have prizes. I want y'all to participate. I am bribing you. Yes, it's official. Um, so I hope you can be with me this morning on Saturday morning. We're just going to have a great time together. And I know that some of you guys like to like scary things. You just got through Halloween, so I've got one more before I leave. Ah, scary morning hair. So there it is. You've seen it. Uh, you don't see that in your staff members very much, but there it is, morning hair. Um, hope y'all can be with us. Have a great day. We're very excited about what will happen at Disciple now, and I'm very excited about the opportunity to lead a big faith, uh, even though many people think that it is all important to use a Mac for something like this. It is even better when you use a Sony Vio. I hope you all have a great time. Come join me for Big Faith, where we learn how to make God smile every day and how we can grow in our walk with Him. time and get to that part of the song, I forget the words. What is wrong with me? <sighs> Actually, I'm over it. I'm done. That is the last time I will try to be like Zac Efron. No matter how many girls tell me they are in love with this dude, I'm just not buying into the whole scarves and beanies, I'm a high schooler look. <sighs> and if you see Cameron Gwaltney walking around, tell him that his scarf isn't cool either. I've been wanting to tell him that for years. Anyways, middle school guys, it has been an absolute blast worshiping with you this weekend, and the band and I are excited to spend this breakout session with you Saturday morning. We're going to be discussing the different pressures that the world throws on us and the different images that they say that we, as guys, have to conform to. But what really matters is that we find our identity in Christ, and being a true, committed follower of Christ is the coolest person that you can be. So we're looking forward to sitting down and spending some time with you, and we'll see you there. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. My name is Nicole Pavis. For those of you who don't know me, I am a sophomore at James Madison University, and I am so excited to be here with you guys. Disciple Now weekend is going to be awesome. I'm going to be leading a breakout session with the high school girls, and it's entitled Big Lies for Girls, What Society is Telling You That Just Is Not True. So we're going to be going over a lot of different things. Things like the way that you act and the way that you talk and the way that you feel about yourself. 
Also things like magazines and clothing and what society tells us about those kinds of things. And then of course, the juicy stuff like relationships and boyfriends. Did she say boyfriends? Like OMG, I love boyfriends. And rather than finding a middle ground between the two, between society and what the Bible has to say, we're gonna find out that what the Bible has to say is really the best plan for all of us. So overall, it's going to be a great time, and I hope that you guys enjoy it, and I can't wait to get started with you. High school girls, what, what? So, what's the big deal? Why is modesty so important? Well, in our breakout session, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Um, we're going to look into some scripture and see what the Bible has to say about covering up some of our uh, most important traits. And uh, we're going to talk about how we can be modest in today's society. So anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing you girls this weekend and being able to spend time with you. Adios.